Hello viewers, I'm SP and welcome back to Sunshine Heavy Industries, where, frankly, I just need a little bit of a distraction. And hopefully, hopefully this game is going to provide exactly what I'm looking for, and maybe it can be useful to you too, in that way. So let's go have a chat with this adorable rat. Username, a rat. Is that a rat? Not, not a space rat or an alien that looks like a rat? You're just, you're just a rat. Is the rat really pointing at that pile of scrap parts? I'm not, I'm not building you a ship, rat. I will absolutely build the rat a ship. What is it holding? Is that a... Whoa! Oh, oh, it's a, it's a potato peel. I was gonna say, it looks like a handheld potato peeler. <laughs> this pixel art is very expressive. Well, this rat's got chutzpah. All right, sure, whatever. We can make a rat ship. I love it. I love it very much. Okay, first of all, uh, this is a lot of this is a lot of garbage and scrap. Ratty, ratty, you don't want all this scrap. Oh, it won't let me delete this. Okay, the rat feels strongly about the scrap. It is. <laughs> I love that it is holding the potato peeler at me. I love it. I love this rat more than life itself. I would do anything to protect it. Uh, Twenty-two points of fuel. We can make that work. So, it doesn't really have engines in the in the traditional sense. So I mean, like this is okay, right? If we do say this, we can just drop a one by one fuel pump right there. Uh, rad cargo? Is that sorry? Is that like radioactive cargo? It sure is. Okay, we're gonna need three of these. So hold on, this is gonna be the trick. Jamming these things in, but still having room for the crew. And then we need a few more points of normal cargo. That's a that's a worry about it later kind of situation. So if we put this stuff, I mean, in order for in order for there to be room for the crew, we have to do this a little bit more like that. Okay, that gives us space to put passengers up front. Is it 10 space? It is not. But it could be. We could we could rearrange some things. We can make this work. There we go. There's actually even more crew space than we thought we needed. And then also, cargo is easy from here. I get a little ratty. I gotta say, I don't think it's a good idea for you to be flying with this degree of radiation. Guess I'm gonna cut the extra point of... Where did you get all this money? Well, I mean... It does fit the spec. Hey, Rat, the, these ship specs are awful. Okay, that's more of a that's more of a knife. That's more of a directly a knife. And the rat has a knife too. Alright, get out of here, you little weirdo. Man, I guess we should keep the scrap parts in stock. They're totally worthless, but I guess some clients want them. Hey, can, can we not make any more rat ships in the future? No, absolutely. I will make I will make a ship for any rat that shows up under any circumstances. Uh, oh, hey, look, it's our friend the Bounty Hunter. So, we want your help getting our space station back. That's not going to be easy. Paying me, I mean. The, the job is probably pretty easy. I'm very good at this. That last ship was pretty great until the engines got obliterated by giant space spiders. If you can get me a more spider-proof one, I'll sneak you back in there. Okay. What do we mean by spider-proof? I don't know. It seems fine. So we need 64 points of firepower, but number one, number one thing is we need one of these fancy five by two turrets. That's a really cool looking thing. Okay, so 10 points of firepower, pretty standard stuff. 
Uh, we really need a, just a huge, huge amount of firepower on this thing. We need armor on all of the bits. So my feeling is that we're probably here. Oops, that's not what I want. We're probably looking at just like having cannons all across the front. That gets us where we're going, right? It has some problems, but it <clears throat> Oh good, the hiccups. Because you know what I needed right now was one more problem. <laughs> okay, well that's not ideal. Um, I might... We'll give this a second. I might have to pause the recording. I do not want to be hiccuping in your ear the whole time I'm trying to do this. Okay, the good news here is we don't necessarily need a ton of fuel tanks. <gasps> oh dear. So that covers our fuel needs right there, but obviously we're going to need multiple engines, so... 32 points of thrust. Um, I mean, we could get there on ion engines. They brought the propeller. Not actually very good at space propulsion. <laughs> yeah, four mass, a single point of thrust. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't seem like it would be good in the vacuum. Um, but what I'm thinking is we could we could do like this, right? So we, we play just a single fuel pump, single tiny fuel pump, and then three of the um, three of the ion engines will get us where we're going. But also that's gonna be power problems. Okay, what else do we need on the ship that's gonna eat power? That's gonna it's gonna need power. We need radar. We need 18 points of radar. Feels to me like maybe something like that is happening there. Because this is a ship that requires top and bottom armor, we want it to be thin and vertical. So we do that. Two points of comms is, is fine. That's just like a tiny baby antenna just somewhere on the ship. Um, yeah, it fits right on top of the gun. And that's it as far as power goes, right? So right now, what is... <laughs> Bounty Hunter very concerned about these cats. Uh... So right now, we need to run two large generators and a small generator. And at that power level, we do get an ion engine for free. Right, because we just have eight spare energy. But adding an ion engine, I don't know, I don't know if it actually helps here. Because we still have to attach another engine for the thrust we need. Once we do this, we're talking about putting in another small generator at a cost of 200k to avoid paying 100k extra for another space worth of fuel pump, which would allow us to attach more engines to the... I think, I think it probably makes more sense just to do this in this case. And then, I mean, we could just run another one of these. It's a little bit of overkill, but... Or, sorry, that's not the right thing. Another one of these. Yeah, because if we, if we do this, we need six more points. Like, if it was closer, you know. Uh, the 4x2 dirty engine is 12 points of thrust, which is not quite enough by itself. So it kind of makes... I think it kind of makes sense to do that. And then once we're in that place, 
Heat management wise, we're probably looking at a heat vent. And we can, um, we can tuck the small generator that we need just to push over the uh, power levels right there. Wait, sorry. Are we, did I do math good? I don't know, I did, I did some math weird somewhere, but. No, sorry, that's right. I keep looking at this and it's like, it's red and has an eight. So that must mean that there's, uh, there's too little power, but no, we have, we have enough power. It's just mad because things aren't attached in a sensible way. Um, so yeah, we can, we can put the generator here and then let's see here. Heat management, we go for an internal heat sink. Right, that's not too bad. Although, of course, part of me wants to fix the symmetricality here. <laughs> There's probably a way to be more efficient with this, but this is not bad. So now the question is, could we... Basically, can I squish this in a little bit more? Because, like, we want to... Wait, what is your problem now? Oh, right, the... I didn't select this is the problem. Because obviously I do want to squish this in as much as possible. If I move these up, because again, every every point of horizontal space we're paying for is like a, a real bummer, right? So I'm wondering if we can. I didn't mean to do that. Are the, the heat vents are... Okay, they are armor. Ah, uh, that's inconvenient. Well, you know what? If I'm gonna put a heat vent there, maybe we can rearrange this whole thing slightly and end up... What I really want... is to try to squish this at least one space further forward. That's a problem, that, that collision right there is probably not fixable because this, well, you know what, actually, this doesn't have to be a heat sink though. We can do the same thing here where we just have a forward facing heat vent because this thing is already touching that heat sink. And it doesn't even have to be. We could move it up and have it touching the heat vent. In which case, this could also be a heat vent. We can we can save a lot of energy here. Or we can save a lot of money here. So It's a little weird looking. Uh, we're gonna need a point of command that we can paste on the front here, and that that'll deal with I'll deal with one of these, and then we are just gonna have to use some actual armor. And then we've almost you know we've covered most of this. We're gonna need some fins in a second, so I'm gonna wait until we have those in place. 
So we also have a couple of mass adding uh, things, which are not like going to be terribly meaningful. Let's just tuck the cargo in here. Two points of passenger space is easy enough. Bounty Hunter tends not to travel with a lot of company. Uh, and then, yeah, fins. So, maneuverability. For the sake of maneuverability, that gets us most of the way there. <laughs> it's a very compact little... <laughs> uh, close, close, close. Okay. And then the antenna can go, like, actually anywhere. It's fine. You see, it makes the most sense to have it, like, tucked behind something for safety's sake. Oh, except radiation, right? There you go. That's a spaceship. Does it make sense to do a 3x3 three three fin? Because we could do a 2x2 two two and a 1x2 and, and get there, right? 2x2 two two is very close to enough by itself. Where does this attach? Just kind of anywhere, it turns out. You have, to, you have to have a secondary fin on the right side to balance out the size of the primary fin on the left side. So, yeah. It looks a little horrible. I'm not going to pretend that that's not true. But, but it's actually quite cash efficient. It could be slightly more. We had to put one point of armor down. Can I fix that? Can I use this fin somehow to fix that? No, because this, this isn't quite going to work. Because this will be in the way of the gun. And we need all of the heat the heat vents to be exactly where they are. And you can't rotate a fin. So yeah, unfortunately I think we do just have to pay the very small amount for the one point of armor. But there, we'll put it there and it's like a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. I am so thankful that the hiccups did not stick around. <laughs> yeah, that should do it. Let me know whenever you need a pilot. I'll get you into that base. Yes! <laughs> this rules! Normal cat. You know, that does look like a normal cat. The thing I the thing I find myself thinking... That is a hell of a laser cannon. The thing I find myself thinking about that cat is that it, like, really looks extremely normal. Hey, I'm back. Notice anything different about me? Location? Physical space, baby! Hmm. New haircut? No, I have a physical form. Check it out. Whoa, neat. Congrats. Thank you. Now that I have this body, I've begun to appreciate the finer points of life, like basking in the sun. And I'd like a ship that reflects this new side of myself. I want solar panels. Okay, well, you brought... Okay. Listen, you brought the money, I'll do whatever. So, solar panels. Provides both armor and power generation. Pretty cool and seemingly quite efficient. It generates 300 and... Or it generates 18 energy for only 375k? That's... Seems quite efficient. Okay, so we need at least four solar panels, and they can provide a significant portion of our ship's armor. Uh, in addition, we're going to need 37 points of firepower. How do I dial in 37 correctly? Uh, we can do... Three drills and a big turret is 37, right? This covers the armor for the bottom of the ship. Yeah. 
So let's say it looks something like that. Something very normal and efficient like that. Um, so 40 per space. Yeah, it's probably better than, it's certainly better than making up the thing entirely out of two by ones. Okay, I don't mind this. This is, this is gonna work just fine. We went through a real drill phase and then we kind of got out of it and this is just sort of a regression, a temporary regression. So, we're also gonna need 47 points of comms, really? And at least four of that must be from one by two antennas, which doesn't seem like a huge problem. These need clearance all the way out. Yeah, okay, it's fine. We'll, we will find space for these antennas. And then we need another 39 points still. My inclination is just a huge number of antennas, but I suppose we could run a dish. It's tough, it's tough with the dish. Uh, so I think this is... Oh, sorry, we need two points of radar as well. So, okay. This is all of the mandatory power. It puts us at needing 75 more, which... See, my inclination here is to put in all of the stuff that requires power then from that, figure out how many ion engines we can afford to use. But I guess actually here it scales quite a bit because we don't know how many solar panels is the right number of solar panels. And like, while the solar panels are reasonably efficient in comparison to the one by one generators, they are definitely less efficient than the two by twos. Because the 2x2 two two is generating 10 energy per square at the cost of at a cost of 150 per square. This is generating 6 energy per square. Yeah. At a cost of 125 per square. So it's not like. It feels right now like this is the move for finishing off our power supply. But if we end up needing more armor for the ship, I don't know. Let's say that this was how we were going to do it. We do have these 7x4 engines now, which are pretty fun. And they are even more expensive per point than the other big engine. But, you know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of thrust. A pair of 6x3s will not get us where we're going. A pair of 7x4s totally will. They also have a very interesting shape. So if we do... I mean, it feels like this is the move if we're doing that. I don't necessarily love it. So we also need 13 points of fuel, which we can get from a single tank, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's a little awkward, but this is definitely more than we need. But fuel, fuel space is so efficient, so cash efficient, I should say. So we can do that. The other thing I could do, because of the way this, these engines are shaped, I suppose, is this, and then tuck like a, um... you know, I, I could have sworn we had a five by one, but it's an, it's a five by one engine, right? So, this is still a little awkward. We end up, we end up going over by quite a bit. Yeah, I think it is better just to use the big fuel tank. I was I, like, I wish we had a thing that was in between these two sizes, because what I really want to do is stick a small fuel tank in this space between the engines, right? 
but there's just there's no way I don't think to like cleverly make that work. Okay, so say so we run it like this. We need room for heat sinks, which means we have space to do that. This is probably going to end up being on the front of the ship. Okay. Probably something like this for that, for managing the heat on that. And then here, does a one by two touch? Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, obviously we don't need to use a heat sink for the engines at all. It's pretty easy to just tuck a heat vent right here. We can do these four in a single heatsink. If I turn this backwards, which causes it to not generate any, um, causes it to not generate any, well, you know what? It's still generating enough armor. As long as we can jam the rest of the ship into this space. So we still need a huge number of comms points. And we actually don't have a ton of room for those because we have a lot of stuff on the ship that needs clearance. Like we have room to do that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, that's, that's an interesting concern. But I think one we can come back to. We probably end up um, creating some more space here because we need fins and we can mount antennas on the fins that's certainly an option uh, we need four points of cockpit which i'm inclined to just sort of like box up like that and then we need 22 points of cargo still to jam in this thing but i think we got enough dead space to make that work go cargo so what we could do here is move a solar panel to the front of the ship and that creates room for a fin Maneuverability is how you spell fins. That gets us most of the way there. We're not quite at full... Um, we're not quite at full mass yet, though. So I do need to, first of all, put in the single bunk. <laughs> for whatever reason. And then we still need a huge number of points of comms. So... If I wanted to generate... What we have, what we still need in just antennas to avoid dealing with the pain of the dish. It looks like some ridiculous thing, right? It's a massive array of antennas. Oh, that's right, the, these things are, I forgot that the one by fours are weirdly space efficient. Because they're sixes. They're a little bit a little bit more expensive in terms of um, dollars per point of communications, right? But they do let us jam the amount of signal we need into one fewer antenna, I believe, and that does, I think, actually matter in this case. 
is we are going to be paying for every extra point of antenna, every extra point of width we create. This doesn't quite come down cleanly. Um, I guess we could, without changing the number of antennas, we can save ourselves a little bit of money by getting in exactly, right? Just to say we can actually... No, that doesn't work. Sorry. This this one still has to be a one by four. One by four. Okay, so I just need to find room for seven antennas. No big deal. Um, and right now, everything that is on the ship needs to be pointed out in the direction that it's pointed out. However, there is room for antennas on the side of the drill. That is considered a, a real mounting. So, I mean, it would be better to squish the space a little bit here, right? We need that. So we're gonna have to put some armor on the front of this anyway, but we wanna, we wanna create extra vertical space more than we wanna create extra horizontal space. And if we... So now we have all we have pretty much all the actual weight on. So yeah, one one big fan, of course, not going to be enough. This this looks so bad. <laughs> I guess technically. I can attach one thing here. So we don't need... A thing that we don't need is for this to be quite this tall. So we can pull this down and this down and this down. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay, I guess. Uh, and then we just need, like, is a 1x2 fin enough? It is. So, we can attach that to the end of the... <laughs> we can just, like, spider an antenna down onto that fin. Can I hang more antennas off the back of the fin? Oh, I totally can. Although I guess, actually, we don't even need to do that, right? Because we could post the antennas on the back of this fin, too. I don't know, I, right. I can put one here. That looks good and normal. And then we just need a little tiny bit of extra front armor. I'm looking at this and trying to figure out, is there a way, like, we can move this stuff all back a space? that fin can protect slightly more efficiently. And if we do this, now I only need one point of armor, and I don't actually need one point of armor, because that's where the fin goes. There we go. All real components, no actual armor. <laughs> and it looks super good and normal. What's a loose part? I dare you. I, I challenge you to tell me what counts as a loose part on this ship. Am I not allowed to mount a fin off of the antenna? <laughs> Out of curiosity here, is that, is that the, no, that's not the problem. It's these, I'm probably, maybe I'm not allowed to mount. Huh, wait, this one was loose, but that one wasn't? Also, it like literally just never, it never occurred to me that I could do that. <laughs> apparently you're allowed to, <laughs> apparently you're allowed to hang the fins kind of sideways off of stuff that's fine 
that fe it feels like I shouldn't be allowed to get away with that. Or this. I'm taking, it's a cat. I know it's like a super smart robot cat, but there is no way that, that CAT can tell the difference. This will do nicely. Hey, just stopping in for new windshield wipers and... Whoa. What is this? Who is this? It's shaped like me, so I perceive it as a threat. I am a cat. I'm just like you. Well, I want to be anyways. Yeah, that makes sense. Wow, you're so cool. We should hang out. Hmm. And normally I work alone, but... You have correctly identified me as the perfect life form. I can respect that. Now let's get out of this dump. Oh no. That's like bad for us, right? I don't trust either of them. Wow, that's really cute. Barf. I mean, it's kind of... I don't like it. It makes me nervous. A multi-purpose intake that provides cooling, armor, and a modest amount of energy generation. Oh, hey, cool. Efficiency. Excess heat into energy. Yo. I like that very much. Okay. Uh, who is up next? We, we're gonna go. We're gonna go a couple more here. Um, I probably can't go to the full hour because I do have a requirement. Let's uh, let's meet our new robot friend. Hey, I'm Mike. Uh, uh, wait, hold on. I messed up. Sorry. I'm new to this. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, I'm the Omega Mind. And oh uh, no, wait. I messed it up again. Hello. We are the Omega Mind, and we are a new Hive Mind collective. And we're wondering if you guys want to join. No? You sure? You could get in on the ground floor. There's only three of us right now. I mean, lots lots of room for growth. Uh, hey, that's fine. The Omega Mind isn't pushy. <laughs> Location? More than one. Uh, but could you make us a ship for ro with room for all the Hive Mind members? And maybe, like, some processors so the ship can join too? Right now, it's, um... It's really more like we're all just in a group group chat together. Oh, and can you make the whole ship as rectangular as possible? Hive minds really like geometric shapes. It's a it's a style thing. I am great at rectangles, is the thing. Ah, see, we're paying for top and bottom armor, but not for front armor this time. Each cell in the box costs 10k. So each cell, okay, all right. Uh, so first things first, let's get the CPUs out here. They want us to really compact these parts, and frankly, I think that sounds like a fun challenge. Uh, we need an FTL core. That's a thing I probably have. There we go. A magnetically confined black hole allows the ship to go faster than light. It's going to generate a huge amount of radiation and also some heat. And also it requires 120 energy. Yeesh. Oh, we need two of them. Of course we do. And that does not generate any thrust, but the ship doesn't need much thrust. A single 3x1 engine will cover the thrust needs. We also only need two points of fuel. Let's get ourselves a tiny little fuel tank. It's probably going to end up being more like this. Because we're going to want to use the heat. We're going to want to use whatever heat sink to sink some other stuff here. Uh, they also want eight points of radar, which we may as well slap on now. Probably makes the most sense to attach that like this. So you have a lot of a lot of things that require some heat sinking. Twenty points of cargo is like very whatever. Honestly, we'll probably do the cargo last before the maneuverability because cargo breaks down so nicely. We can just fill in spaces with that. Uh, comms. So is it gonna, um, is it gonna be a problem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
All right. So this may be a, a case where we want some dishes, even with the heat problems, just because they are so much more compact. 42 points of comms is an awful lot, though. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot to be said for a dish. So if we run three dishes and one 1x4 one antenna, it gets us where we're going. Obviously, the 1x4 one antenna, we're going to have to be very careful about the generation, or the, the radi radiation generation. Uh, also, 17 points of passenger bunks that we have to be careful around the radiation with. But, like, this is the this is the really the core difficult part of the, the ship. So... We really want to make sure that these FTL cores are, like, at an edge, right? Let's say... Oops, that's not what I wanted. Just these. Let's say we put them at, like, the bottom edge, and then we run... Are you... You are radiation sensitive. Okay, but we run all of the, um... All the comms equipment off the top of the ship. So... We're also going to need just an incredible amount of energy. I mean, it feels like it's just going to be a huge number of these generators. We're going to need so much heat sinking. Yeah, I mean, it's basically... So, hold on. Where's that... Okay, the intake and the turbine are down here. So, this generates five points per... It needs clearance. But it's generating five points of energy per tile while also serving as a massive heatsink. I mean... That seems pretty good. It is extremely expensive. So 600k... So it's the same cost as a 2x2 two two generator, while generating a little bit less energy, but also while taking care of some of the heat problems. So we're probably... My, my guess is... Sorry, wait. The, the intake... Cooling armor and a modest amount of... Oh, okay. The biggest difference between the intake and the turbine is that the intake is armored. The turbine is generating as much power as a big generator, but it's much, much more expensive. I think... Excuse me. I think it's going to be intakes. The larger the larger size means we can... I mean, the, obviously, the, um, the clearance thing is going to cause some, some trickeries, but... The fact that it's going to allow us to cool so many objects, each one of them is going to allow us to cool so many objects, I feel like it has to be a big enough deal. So if we... Hold on. If I do this, we can throw another generator on there. And, like, that's a huge amount of power, and also it's taking care of a ton of cooling. It feels like a winner to me. So we need another 98... Which is probably like, let's call that intake plus two generators. We might we may fiddle with this a little bit more. So This is maybe more like this, just kind of extending into the ship. And then over here on this side, it feels a little bit wasteful because like the, the engine eats up one whole side of the thing. It's like a little awkward. I really want it 
jam as much stuff in there as we can. Like, that's okay. This one's feeding six objects. This one's only feeding four. I guess the thing we can do is we can do an offhang like this. And then... No, that's actually really awkward. <laughs> um, I guess, hold on. This assembly can be moved around. And then we can drag this backwards. There we go. That gives me room to cram in some more stuff. It's a start. Uh, and then we still have a fair number of things that need heat. Uh, heat dissipation. So like... out of the way. The thing we can totally do here is just a normal heat vent facing the front of the ship. And then, you know, the ship flies into the heat, which is like just a very normal thing for the ship to do. If one of these ends up facing forward, we can do kind of a similar thing here. Can we? Yeah, 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 yeah. By putting... No, because the heat vent needs to be facing outward. And all three of these objects also have to be facing outward. So... A thing we can do is we can kill one of these generators and replace it with an additional turbine. An additional intake, rather. We can, we can take the 10 heat hit. Do that. Yeah. Now, granted, this is not looking very, um... It's not looking very compact the way it is right now. It doesn't need to be the case. Well, let me... It doesn't need to be the case that all of these turbines are actually facing backwards, though, right? What if we do something like that? That tightens us up a little bit. And then... We can go as far back as this, allowing me to hang two of these radar dishes off the side here, and one of them can go in here. We can pack that. I don't want to get these too close together, but that totally works. I'm allowed to do that. Okay, I mean, that's pretty compressed. Could be tighter. I guess there's no reason for this not to get turned. Uh, I'm wondering if there's a way to, um, if there's a way to let me tuck this in somewhere. But I have to rearrange things a little bit so that this is touching. So this one can't be moved. Yeah, losing access to one of the one of the surfaces of this turbine is a is a problem there. That said, the only things that are actually being cooled by this turbine are this and this, in theory. So hold on, maybe we can rearrange this in a way that, that does make sense. It's like, what if the antenna's going this way? Ah, 
very close. I mean, it's not a problem for me to just, just drag this down. This is still within the area. Okay. Uh, 20 points of cargo. You know, it's not a small amount. Like... talking about these things as not generating a lot of extra space demands but like you do have to you do have to make some room for them so ah right I can't just do that um we might be creating some extra space in here And then, like, the cargo... So I'm allowed to do that. And there, <laughs> there is space for one more bunk right here, in between the various radiation fields. And then we need a bunch of cargo space, and this can fill up a lot of this, this dead stuff down here. So what was it? It was 20 exactly. It's probably not going to be the case that we run this in two of these. Yeah, no, that's that's definitely not right. Uh, okay, let's start with a two by two. Additional two by twos. Five more? Oh, right, shoot. Uh, it's fine, though. Remove. Okay, hold on. If I move this down here. Swap that into that space. Tuck that in there. And then the armor from the radar is still protecting that cargo. Okay. There we go. We can pack that stuff in even a little bit better. Then twenty six points of uh, twenty. Okay, twenty six is a fair number of points of command. So we can do some of this, but not a lot of it, unfortunately. doesn't look very good. Uh, and then I can put a point of... We're not going to be able to run any command stuff down here. Is a problem. Problem. I mean, it's a big... Problem is a big word for what it is, but... So we can tuck that in there earn ourselves a little bit more space on this side. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So we can put this as far forward as that without breaking anything. Which means, oops, this isn't, this isn't the piece I wanted. Which means we can do one of these here. Maybe I do want another one of these? Hold on a second. If we... We're close. Don't really want to add another row. 
But yeah, the fact that part of the ship is too radioactive for anything to be near is like an issue. Um, and if I move any of the radioactive stuff out of that corner, it's going to start causing problems with this stuff. It's like a full, the half of the ship design is just fully too goddamn radioactive. If I do this, it becomes trivial to fix it, right? Bam, there you go. And then we coat the bottom portion of the thing in fins. This is not very, I don't know. We're still making a profit here, but it's not like, this is not awesome. So if we do a bunch of these, we can avoid adding too much height. It looks like we get there in a reasonable number of them. And then a single point of armor. And obviously it should be curved. Everything in the future is curves and gradients. That's just that's just the way it is. This is a this is a fucking nightmare. There's not <laughs> there's no two ways about that. I bet I bet you that without that much work, we could collapse a vertical space here because we could take advantage of this gap to shrink the amount of crew quarters here and then like rearrange some stuff in, pull the antenna forward this far. Right, like nothing breaks if I... this a two by one pull you up here and you up here and then I think I can just move this whole assembly up oh right this thing's a problem if we could move this up, then I could turn this this way. Yeah, whatever. I'm not going to stress about it. It's fitting together <laughs> for the moment. Here, the ship just has a, it has a hole in it. You know, standard ship hole kind of stuff. If you you're going to be fine unless an asteroid hits right here, in which case the whole hive mind absolutely dead. That could definitely have been more compact, I'm sure. Like more, well, whatever, it's fine. Because of the fact that we had to armor the top and the bottom, but not the front, I wonder, like, long and narrow might have been a better way to try to contain everything, and that would have meant way less restriction from the radiation because radiation st radioactive stuff at one end of the ship would restrict a lot. Yeah, all right, whatever. I'm, I'm, oh, we're, <laughs> we're so excited about this. Thanks, y'all. Hey, hey, can I ask, did you not want to join because you're already in a hive mind? No, huh? All right, just, just not your kind of thing. I mean, that's okay, it's not for everybody. Well, let, let us know if you change your mind, all right? See ya. It's a slightly over-aggressive poly friend energy. All right, I think that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for, wa for watching. That did distract me. But now that I've thought about how much it distracted me, I'm remembering what it was distracting me from, and there it is. There's the sadness. Found my way back. Uh, thank, <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time tomorrow, we will be distracted from our sadness for yet another hour. Hooray! Huzzah to Sunshine Heavy Industries. And we'll see you then.